Guys, what is up? It is Monday and today I am taking a whole bunch of stuff to the dump. Um, my truck is already basically full. Um, got the futon in the back of the truck. I'm hoping this thing doesn't fly out. I don't think it will, but yeah. Um, Pretty much filled up, throwing away the fish tank uh, since I murdered them. Um, futon, the futon cushion, um, all that kind of stuff is in there. Got to take it all to the dump. Um, yeah, going to need two trips today. It's going to be futon and then we have like all the dressers up there and all that kind of stuff. But yeah, I don't think this thing's going to like come out but you never know um i might throw my hazards on i'm not entirely sure i don't think it's gonna come out though but yeah we are slam packed um but yeah let's go ahead and start heading that way it's about 10 15 minute drive to dump um but yeah let's do it okay so on the road and it looks like it's okay i'm probably not going to be driving the fastest um but we did find out that our closing times are almost kind of back to back, but they're not. Um, so we have 9.30 for our house. That's our closing time. And then um, for the new house is at one, and it takes about an hour, hour and a half to sign all the paperwork. So <sighs> gonna be able to come home, eat at least. Noah can get one more nap or so. And then we head to the the other signing but in the morning that well, Friday morning I'm going to U-Haul to pick up the 26 foot box truck and we're gonna come back and load it up as much as we can before we head to the first signing and then we are going to come back load up more while Noah takes another nap or so and then um, head to the other signing once we're done with that one house is ours we get the keys yada 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 and then we are going to come back, fill the rest of the truck up, fill up the cars, fill up everything that we can take with us. And then we are going to move, technically. Um, leaving the, um, the outdoor equipment, we're leaving that till Saturday, because since we know the people, we're gonna come back and basically grab it. Um, so it shouldn't be too crazy. Um, but other than that, heading to the dump, drop off this stuff, just keeping a good eye on that, that futon back there, but yeah. Okay guys, so we got back home. I got all the stuff unloaded at the dump and we got back home and um, got everything ready for round two. Uh, got to head to the dump again to drop off all this stuff. So this right here was in our house, obviously it was in our house, but this was in our master and now it is going because the bottom shelf was broken, so we just don't want it anymore. This was the old entertainment center uh, that was in my office, but the leg right here broke, so that's gone. These are just the drawers from the, from the dresser. And now, time to take these babies to the dump. Um, just slowly, slowly taking stuff away. I mean, we move in three days. It is Monday, so... Let's head on to the dump and let's go and get this unloaded so I can come back home and relax. Cause I have work tomorrow and our um, walkthroughs tomorrow. So it sucks that I won't be able to go, but Amanda's gonna make sure that everything is good. So yeah, let's, let's start heading that way. Okay, so once I got done with like dumping everything at the dump, started mowing this is my last time mowing this property ever um so just trying to get that done and then we will ah man it, we're getting so close to moving and friday is for sure now thankfully and <sighs> amanda's inside about to put noah down for a nap i'm just fin trying to finish up this yard before the rain comes because it did say that the rain is supposed to start pretty soon but we do have a tropical storm in motion um, it's supposed to be a hurricane by the time it hits Haiti and the Dominican Republic. Um, but then after that, it's supposed to die down to 50 uh, mile per hour winds, which is what we'll probably get here, maybe 30s. 
just depends on what it does whenever it gets past uh, Haiti and Dominican Republic and once it like reaches Puerto Rico and stuff. But yeah, some HHN starts two weeks from now. I think we're 11 days. So, but I'm going to be going not this Sunday because that's obviously move in day, but next Sunday, uh, well, the, the following Sunday after that. Um, Amanda and I talked about it, so I'm going to be going opening weekend, so it sucks I'm not going opening night, but obviously that is our, like, we'll be moving in still, like, we have a bunch of stuff to do with the house, um, but yeah, it, opening night is going to be awesome, cannot wait for that, um, just finishing up this lawn though, and thankfully this is our last time, and this is my last time using this mower, because I am going to be buying a new one whenever we move into the new house. And it's going to be a zero turn, so that thing's going to be sweet. All right, I'm going to go ahead and finish this. Okay, so we actually got the whole lawn mowed. Um, just got some few spots, like right here, that I'm going to probably do Wednesday. Um, because that's when I'm going to probably weed eat the rest of the property. But for it being the last mow, I think it turned out really good. I mean, you can see lines in it. It came out really good. Um, it's funny, this is the, like, I don't even know, six, seven, maybe week and a half since we've had rain here, and I was literally watching the radar, and it was literally, like, a super, super big storm that was, like, about to hit, like, I'm telling you, gigantic, and it went around us, it, it stayed north, like, and it like it was coming right at us like we, we were right in the middle and then everything just started moving north so another day of no rain but we do have some some thunder that's what that noise was and there's some lightning just now and that way is north that way is east so yeah oh dang that was just in the sky i missed it let's see if i can get it again Maybe it'll do it, I don't know. Yeah, so this way here would be east. Over there would be, no. That way, so over there is north. This over here is east, so. Huh, it's flashing. Now it's flashing over that way. All right, well, it's not doing it, <clears throat> but I'm not gonna lie, guys. I miss doing cinematic videos. Um, I think we're gonna try and make an HHN one tonight. Um, just based off the clips I have or what I have left. Um, but yeah, man, two days, technically three, but tomorrow is two days until we move out of this house. Oh man, I tell you, it is the most stressful thing ever, but it's going to be so awesome when we move into the new house. Friday is going to be so, so busy. So Friday is probably going to be a really, really long, uh, like long portion of the video because it's just, we're going to be all over the place. So yeah. Right, I'm gonna go back in because we're putting Noah to bed. So it's bedtime? Hey, okay, stop trying to eat your hand. Is it because you know it's bedtime? I love you. I'm trying to eat that hand. Hold on. I love you. I love you. I love you. Oh my. Oh my. I love you. <laughs> I love you. Trying to avoid bedtime? You trying to avoid bedtime? Hey guys, so it is, what's today? It's Monday night. <laughs> um, I know Zach's already talked to you guys a little bit today. He is currently trying to put Noah to bed. Um, he has work tomorrow, so I'm gonna be with Noah all day tomorrow which is gonna be fun and good. So he's gonna put him to bed tonight so my back can have a little bit of a break um, cause I'll be doing a lot tomorrow. But um, 
I packed away the laundry room today. All I kept out was a little bit of laundry detergent and the dryer sheets and the dog's leashes, but everything else got packed away. Um, I don't even think there's anything left for us to do besides load up the U-Haul the morning of. Um, so it's just getting so real. So this morning Noah woke up at 6.30 but fell back asleep, but I couldn't fall back asleep because my mind is just racing. Like, I'm so excited. I'm so excited for this new chapter in our lives. I'm so excited for more space. I'm so excited that, you know, in the nearer future than I imagined, um, I'm going to be able to own horses on my own property. Like, I thought that wasn't gonna happen for 10, 15, 20 years. Gracious, he's trying to get him to go to sleep. Um, so, I, it's just crazy. Like, I didn't know this would happen this soon. And we're so blessed and we're so grateful. Um, but also, there is a part of me that is going to miss this place a little bit. Like, this is where we brought Noah home from the hospital. Like, this is where Zach and I came home after getting married. This is the first house I bought when I was 19 years old. Uh, we've put a lot of work into this house. We've put a lot of work into the yard and you know, a lot of memories have been made here. So there is a part of me that's like, this has been home for three and a half years. This has, you know, been a part of so many big moments in our lives. Um, you know, it's where I found out I was pregnant. It's where we had the miscarriage. It's, you know, it's a lot. So, you know, I'm gonna be sad to be parting with it. And I'm such a creature of habit because I do struggle with high functioning anxiety. I feel very comfortable here. Um, I feel very at home. I feel very comfortable. I feel safe. I feel secure. I know my surroundings. Um, so it's gonna be a little bit of an adjustment for me. Uh, I mean, it's gonna be an adjustment for all of us, but you know, like I said, I'm a creature of habit. I tend to like to do the same thing over and over again. I like to feel safe in my environment and I know that it's going to take me a little bit to feel that way um, at the new house. So yeah, just a lot of thoughts running through my mind. Um, my older sister was kind enough to offer to babysit on Friday um, after closing. So after we close on the new house, her house is only five minutes away from our new house. <laughs> so we're going to drop Noah off and he is going to spend probably four or five hours at my older sister's house. So Zach and I can really focus on getting the really big things set up in the new house with my mom and getting things cleaned and organized. Um, it'll be the longest I will have ever been separated from Noah. So when she first offered it, I was like, I don't know. <laughs> I was like, Zach, should we do this? He's like, well, why not? And I was like, well, I don't know. I just haven't been away from him that long ever. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I'm, I'm excited. I'm nervous. I'm feeling a bunch of things. I've been mentally moved into that house like for a while, <laughs> just like dreaming of what we're going to do with it. Um, my mom is like, what's your theme for your kitchen? And I told her and she's like, I bought you some like hangy dish towels. And I was like, Oh, thank you. Uh, we have paint colors picked out and yeah, it's just, it's crazy. It's stressful. Um, my stomach's been a little upset because I've been so stressed out, which is probably TMI, but whatever. Uh, Noah only woke up twice last night, so I feel more well rested, which is really, really great. And I hope, hope we can do the same thing tonight. That would be fantastic. I actually got really good sleep last night. Um... I'm gonna yell at Noah. <laughs> this is a long clip. I'm sorry. I just wanted to share some of how I like I'm feeling about this whole thing. Um, part of me can't wait to get out of this house, but the other part of me is like, but this is comfortable. This is home. Um, if I'm not careful, I can very much get stuck in my comfort zone. I have to really make an effort to push myself outside of my comfort zone. So <sighs> adventure is out there <laughs> from the movie Up. But it is, and I need to be more adventurous, and this is gonna be good for me, this is gonna be good for my family. Um, the cats are like acting cray cray in the background. So yeah, that's just my little 
two cents for the night and I think Zach is almost got no to sleep. Hey guys, it is Tuesday. We just did our final walkthrough at our new house and I have to be quick because I'm gonna run out of film. But we did our final walkthrough and the homeowner was there and their house is already empty. They've already moved out and he just handed us a key and was like, if you guys wanna start moving stuff in, go ahead. Mind you, we don't sign papers until Friday. But he was like, here's the key. If you wanna start moving stuff in, go ahead. So Zach and I have scrambled some plans together. Noah is going to my sister's house. Um, we're leaving in half an hour. And then we're gonna spend three hours at the new house. My mom and I are gonna be cleaning. Zach is going to be taking boxes over. Some of like the small stuff that we can take. Um, so yeah. That's what our Tuesday looks like now. We're still not gonna do the house tour until we've signed the papers, so we'll probably do that this weekend because we're supposed to have some really crappy, rainy weather, so that'll be a perfect time for us to hop on here and give you guys a detailed tour of the house. But yeah, whoo, wild Tuesday. <laughs> so excited, so excited. Okay guys, we are now home. Um, what a crazy, crazy day. So this morning we went to go do our final walkthrough for the um, new house and we're doing the walkthrough and everything and then the seller is like here's a key so you guys can like start moving everything in we're like what like that doesn't normally happen so um i actually canceled my u-haul reservation for um for friday so um that's gonna save us about 130 bucks that's so nice to this guy um i'm gonna have to get my work vehicle tomorrow um, I'm probably gonna have to start taking some stuff. We took a lot of stuff today because I could fit a lot of stuff in the bed of my truck and inside my truck and Amanda put some stuff in her car and all that kind of stuff but this guy was so nice like he literally was like here's a key um, but um, Amanda and her mom were cleaning up the house. Um, I was gonna do a tour I was but it's not technically ours yet so I don't want to do that Friday I'm guaranteeing you it will have a tour. Um, but yeah, um, back home, I'm gonna start Amanda some food. She's actually in the driveway, but I know he's asleep, so we don't wanna wake him up. Um, he's actually taking a good nap from what Amanda said. But um, yeah, I can't believe, like this morning, like, I thought I was just gonna come, come back home, um, and then probably Weedy, and then all of a sudden, our plans changed, like they changed, and we're moving stuff into the new house. I was just like, wow, that, that, that's a big difference from what I thought we were going to be doing yesterday. Um, and I think the rest of the night we're just relaxing because we are going back out tomorrow. But man, I cannot wait for this. <sighs> cannot wait to move into this house. Friday, cannot come fast enough. Um, everything, we just, we're ready. We're definitely ready. I think we have majority of our stuff packed up. Just small things here and there now. We're waiting for just like all the pans and stuff. But yeah, we are definitely ready. Um, yeah, um, kind of am editing uh, HHN little preview video that might go out. I don't know. I might just put it on Instagram. Still deciding. Um, I only have the audio, so I'm still playing with it. But other than that, we're just hanging out for us tonight. I don't know what we're doing for dinner because since this kind of changed all of our plans, this, yeah, I don't really know. But um, I think Amanda's coming in pretty soon. So, yeah. You guys. <laughs> Holy crap. Like, oh my gosh. Today was so insane. Just holy guacamole. Um, it is Wednesday night. There is a hurricane coming on Labor Day. So Zach and I feel this need and this pressure to get everything moved over as soon as possible and like start unpacking and stuff. So we're more prepared for the hurricane. So not only are we moving, but we're also trying to prepare for a hurricane. Zach is currently out trying multiple stores, um, trying to look for water and a bunch of people have already bought a ton of water bottles. He's having trouble finding any. So he's currently running around to different stores um, trying to get hurricane stuff and take it to our new house because that's where we're going to be. 
Um, but we moved a bunch of stuff over today. We went over to the new house today and we were cleaning some more and trying to get more done. Um, we didn't get as much done at the house today as I would like because the previous homeowners were deconstructing their gigantic saltwater fish tanks and that took them a long time. So we were kind of like waiting for them, which is fine. It's very kind of them to let us go ahead and, you know, move stuff in. But, um, oh my gosh, I'm so tired. Like, it's been wild. It has been a wild day. We know it's all for like good stuff. Like we're getting a new, wonderful, beautiful, lovely home. But of course, a hurricane would be on the forecast just a few days after we move into our new house. So we're a little nervous. I mean, the previous homeowner said that this home withstood Charlie and like all that craziness. Um, it's just like, wow, no time to breathe in your new home before a hurricane hits. <laughs> so we're a little nervous. We're trying to prepare. I feel terrible for Noah. I've been trucking him back and forth and back and forth and he hates the car. So that's been a challenge. And I feel like uh, he's just, he's having a tough time. Like he's so used to us being in a routine and you know doing things a certain way and that's been totally shaken up. So I look forward to Saturday will be our first like full day in the new house. I'm trying to cook. I'm gonna have to put you down for a second. So anyways, Saturday will be our first full day in the new house. So we will stay the night, Friday night. And I look forward to Saturday. I wanna get Noah more on a routine again. He just seems happier on a routine. It's more comfortable for him because he knows what to expect. So I just, I feel terrible. He's been screaming in the car. And the only reason it bothers me is because I feel like I'm the one inflicting his discomfort because I'm the one trucking him around. I know he needs to learn to ride in a car, but it's still very hard for me to listen to him scream and cry and not be able to rush back there and do anything because Zach and I have been driving separate because Zach's been loading up his truck with stuff. Um, and then <laughs> we didn't leave the new house until like 6.15. So that put me getting home right when I needed to start Noah's bedtime routine. It was bath night. I wasn't going to skip bath night because he's been super sweaty being trucked back and forth. And also the buyer of this home wanted to come bring their stuff here because we've started emptying out rooms. And because the hurricane's coming, they want to bring stuff too. So I was like, yeah, sure. Well, they showed up right when I'm trying to bathe him and put him down for bed, which is fine. I told them they could, but the dogs are barking. I'm trying to get Noah to fall asleep by myself because Zach is out running around like a chicken with his head cut off. Um, so yeah, I, like I have said before, I'm such a creature of habit. So this is throwing me through a loop. It's really shaking up my day to day. Um, so yeah and then you know we're gonna bring all the animals over to the new house on friday and that's gonna be an adjustment for them and then it's like boom hurricane <laughs> so right now it's projected to be a category three and it's projected to come right through the center of florida now we are still you know five days away from its projected like landfall date so a lot can happen right now we are just praying that it goes more north not that i wish it to hit anybody else but I don't want it to hit here. <laughs> so we're gonna keep praying. We're gonna keep you guys updated. We're gonna keep preparing. And we're gonna keep packing and unloading and cleaning and all of the above. Honestly, none of this would be possible without my wonderful big sister who has graciously taken Noah multiple days and is taking him tomorrow and Friday. And to my mom for being with us almost all day every day helping us clean pack unpack it's been fantastic to have the support of our family the way that we have so we're very grateful for that we could not do this on our own there's just no way there is no way we could do this on our own so yeah we do not take our family for granted that's for sure so i'm gonna try to cook dinner i'm sure noah's gonna wake up a time or two more before he's down for good unless he's that plum tuckered out from the whole endeavor today <laughs> um so yeah i've already cleaned up all his bath stuff i'm gonna cook tacos tonight because that's all we really have we have a company meeting in the morning <sighs> so my sister's gonna take him in the morning and i don't know what i'm gonna do with noah tomorrow i don't know if i'm just gonna stay home or if i'm gonna try to go to the new house and get more done 
honestly I'm exhausted but I'm afraid if I don't get more done that we're gonna be like really far behind but I don't know I, I want to stay home tomorrow after the meeting that's really what I want to do so we'll see if that happens I don't know you guys right now I'm starving so I'm gonna try to finish cooking dinner uh, guys today it is Thursday and we are one day from moving in one day one day um i'm tired now because i just moved basically the rest of our house to the house basically so i am tired and i am never gonna get like get used to this view i mean <laughs> i'm in my truck and we have this whole pasture right here and there's horses I mean you, like you literally can't get any better than that over here is gonna be a riding arena for Amanda there's the barn not gonna show you the house yet not gonna show you the house yet just because we're doing I'll show you guys tomorrow I promise I'll show you guys tomorrow but yeah a lot of stuff done in the last three days it is unreal also the reason why we are doing this is because there is a humongous hurricane coming humongous hurricane it is going to be a category four by the time it hits the east coast they're still not sure where it's going to hit but still it's a category four they thought this thing was only going to be a category one or two and i'm like i don't know man like lately storms have been very bad and the water is very warm and I kind of predicted, I said it was going to be a three, but it was a three until today. And they said that it's going to be a category four by the time it strikes land, which is very scary because category fours are, are no joke. It's, I mean, cat, category five are the worst, but category fours are still no joke. Irma was a category three, but whenever it hit, when it finally got to us, it was a category two and it was still pretty intense and now we're about to get a category four that hits land and by the time it probably hits us it's going to be a category one still no joke but i've been driving around basically all day trying to find water moving getting water for my sister-in-law and her husband and yeah it's just it's been a crazy crazy day today that's why i have not picked up the camera until now um i'm actually about to go to tractor supply so i can get food for our chickens now and yeah I've literally been driving all over the place today. It's not even freaking funny, but pretty much everything is in the house now. Only thing that is left is like the bed, last minute stuff. All of Noah's stuff is in here. I mean, there's like a lamp in here. It, I forgot to put the TV in there. I gotta go do that. Um, I cannot believe I forgot to put the TV in. But yeah, it is, it's crazy. I'll be right back. Okay, I got the TV in. Only took like five seconds, but um, so yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and start driving to tractor supply. So here's our driveway. Pretty freaking nice. We have these nice pine trees here at the end. We've got some small pine trees here that are growing. Um, the fence, as you can see, has nothing on it. We're gonna have to fix that all up. Um, but I really like these trees here. It's very nice. Uh, mailbox is right there. <sighs> yeah. Only bad thing about this is that this road is an abomination. It is so bumpy and it's just very, very, very bad. <laughs> um, and they have horses right here. They have the biggest plot of land. They have six acres, so they have a couple horses and two donkeys. They're adorable. Cannot wait to see that every single morning when I go to work. But other than that, heading to, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Let's calm down, hey, hey. <sighs> can't even see me okay but yeah heading to tractor supply now because we need to prep for this hurricane coming uh gonna have to lock up our chickens tonight for pretty much the rest of the time that they're here well that they're there because the buyers are of course our friends and <sighs> yeah guys I am so sorry, I'm going to say this now, um, the back end of this video is not what I thought it was going to be, um, we are in the new house, Duke, stop, 
whining. Do you want in here that bad? Good Lord. Gotta move the gate because we don't want them coming in here yet. Um, but yeah, the back end of this video is gonna not be good. Um, this light is kind of bright. Wow. Um, we are in the new house and we cannot wait to show you guys. Um, it is very, very late because I am so busy. I've, I've literally been doing so much stuff since we've gotten here and Amanda's been killing it, absolutely killing it since she's gotten here too. Um, it is not easy moving with a baby. I will tell you that it is not easy. Um, but the reason why I have been so busy is all the stuff around here, we had to move everything. I, I, I like took my U-Haul and I, I, I canceled it and I moved everything in my truck and my work truck so basically <sighs> was moving I, I was moving and i really didn't have time to pick up the camera because each day i was taking four five trips there and back so yeah it was really crazy but i am also preparing the house for a hurricane and it sucks that we have a hurricane technically we don't have a hurricane that's gonna hit here. It's not, the eye's not gonna go over here, but there's still a possibility that we're gonna get really, really bad winds. Um, they still don't exactly know the trajectory of this hurricane. Um, and it's kind of scary because, I mean, we literally just moved in this house Friday and it's Sunday now and I totally apologize that. So it went from Thursday, not film, not film, Sunday. Um, and I'm, I'm really sorry about that. But this hurricane is, it's been stressing me out and um, just really been keeping an eye on it And because this is a category five. They only thought it was gonna get to a category three and the Bahamas got absolutely murdered and praying for them, it's, it, I saw a video and it just doesn't look good there. So definitely praying for those people. Um, hopefully everybody is okay and nothing, no, like no no casualties come out of this. Um, but yeah, the, the the destruction of this storm is. It, I don't think there's even gonna be an island. Like I'm, where where it went through, it's it's that bad where there might not be a northern Bahamas like it, it it's crazy how bad this storm is it, it's broken a lot of records in a matter of time and it only it's been sitting it's only it, it's been moving at like five miles per hour so it's not a fast storm and usually hurricanes are pretty quick they're usually 14 to 15 sometimes even up to 20 miles per hour and it's just, it's literally sitting over the Bahamas so definitely praying for those people um, but yeah so definitely been watching that really closely because I want to know if we need to like, yeah, like we, we it's no joke. So can I, next week I'm going to show you guys the house. Um, just don't know when because of course the hurricane, um, but we are standing in one of the rooms. This color is going to get changed. It's like a purplish pink color. This was the second master in the house. Um, got two masters. This side and on the other side of the house, there is another master. Um, but as you can see, it's all filled with boxes still. All my stuff, all Amanda's stuff. This is all all the boxes we've already like taken apart. But yeah, uh, crazy man. It's it's been so crazy. So yeah, that's gonna be it, guys. Um, sorry, this video was a little bit different at the end of the. At the end of it um but we are preparing for a hurricane we are preparing for the worst and yeah just praying for the people in bahamas i like if you see video it's just it i'm not even doing it justice saying how much damage they did like that storm did it's and they're still getting hit right now and it is 10 o'clock at night and they're absolutely getting slammed still yeah so that is going to be it for us um we will see you guys in the next one.